Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished teachers, and dear friends and family, today we are here to celebrate, among many things, friendships, accomplishments, and academic successes. As we gather here to say goodbye to our beloved high school and move on to the next chapter of our lives, it is our honor to give this toast to our teachers and staff. Writing a toast was no easy task. There's so much we could say. Teachers are an extraordinary species. They wield red pens like lightsabers and truly aren't afraid to use them. They have the ability to make us somewhat understand Pythagorean theorem while simultaneously convincing us that the mitochondria are indeed the powerhouse of the cell. From the very beginning, they don their capes and armed themselves with textbooks and an arsenal of witty comebacks to navigate the world of the Westwood hallways. Their willingness to step into a classroom filled with rebellious teenagers armed with nothing but their cell phones, raging caffeine addictions, and idiotic questions is somewhat admirable. Even though they face endless grading sessions and handwriting that would only be equivalent to deciphering hieroglyphics in ancient Egypt, uh, but only the real teachers would understand this though. Sorry if it's at the part. <laughs> <laughs> they taught us a multitude of things, like how to annotate poems, stories, and articles in a matter of seconds, followed by writing the most intricate PEAEA response that's ever written. They never flinched when faced with our creative excuses for incomplete assignments or our ability to sleep through entire lectures about dates and history we'll never remember, despite the importance of them. Instead, they patiently listened to our rambling excuses, provided a shoulder to lean on when needed, and even let us have a dance party on those Friday afternoons when we just couldn't work another minute. The memory required to be a teacher is almost unimaginable. Having to learn all those curriculums and all the techniques no wonder they had a tough time remembering our names. Zavez would understand this. <laughs> <laughs> Teachers have always inspired us to reach for the stars, but not all of us were born to be mathletes. Some of our favorite memories remain in those classrooms. Funny assignments handed in to our teachers that were borderline questionable, which I never thought I'd say about fake letters from Darwin. And some memories weren't even made in this country. Instead, on the soft, sandy beaches of Belize, and they say teaching is difficult. There was always something to see at Westwood, from the band concerts to the musical theater shows that went on every so often. The arts program at Westwood are a huge part of what our school is. The best part of my day was waking up every morning and seeing the new Instagram post from the Westwood art page, and then going to school and walking through what feels like a modern art museum. It must be nice to receive all the funding available to our school. It all goes to good use though, as the trophy case is full of awards, from our arts department, being a huge part of our identity as a school, you guys deserve it. As a graduating class of 2023, we are the last class to ever experience high school before the 2020 COVID pandemic. Navigating high school is hard enough as it is, let alone the social distancing, online learning, and wearing masks all day. We are extremely lucky to have the staff by our side as we went through all of it. They had to learn just as much as we did during this time, a completely new way of teaching getting to come back to school only to have a different half of the class every day and sitting six feet, feet apart at all times. Even though all the time they couldn't see it, they managed to keep a smile on our faces and their leadership made us believe that it would all be okay in the end. To the teachers and staff at Westwood, you were not just teachers, but you were confidants and friends. You created a safe space inside of your classrooms where we could be ourselves, a place where we could learn without fear of judgment. You have offered guidance and counsel, helping us navigate the crazy years of high school and preparing us for the years that will follow. As we move into the next chapter of our lives, some of our teachers are as well. Mr. Picknicky, Mr. Cathcart, and Mr. Strolius. We want to thank you guys from the bottom of our hearts for everything that you have done for us. From the endless red zone heart rates, to the cheat sheets in science tests, and the movies watched that taught us history, we appreciate you guys and hope that you have a happy retirement. And as for the rest of the staff, we thank you for teaching us not only the lessons from the textbook, but also many invaluable life lessons that will stay with us forever. You have given us the gift of education, but more importantly, you have given us memories that will last a lifetime. From senior pranks that didn't go over too well, <laughs> to taking home a robot baby that cried at the most inconvenient times, this school has left us with things we'll cherish forever. Here's to the ones who have made us laugh, encouraged us to dream, and believe in our potential even when we doubt ourselves. So please, raise your glasses high with us and toast to the entire staff of Westwood Collegiate. 
May your classrooms be full of inspiration, your hearts full of joy, and your coffee cups forever be filled. Cheers. Cheers.